Hi there again, Josies. Jovos. I'll find a name for you guys. Anyway, so if you have now gone to Savoa for a workshop or done some formal training on voiceovers, you'll have a better idea of what it actually entails. You might have got your demos already from them, or you've done a different kind of formal education. You've, you might have actually studied in an art college or something like that. Um, you know, drama, you might actually be already actors and involved in the whole entertainment business. In which case, yes, yeah, Savoa might be a little too basic for you, not necessarily, because Savoa will also teach you about the business side of voiceover, which you might need a refresher in, even if you're an actor and already freelancing. You know, everything helps. So let's say you've done that, you've had a bit of training and you know what it's about. The next thing to do, you can also troll the internet and go through all the YouTube videos that you can find and all the blogs and articles that have been posted as to what voiceover is about, what you need to get started, what you can do to get successful at it. I mean, there is tons of information out there. It's huge in the UK and the US. Really, there's tons and tons of information. That's what I've been trying to post for you guys on the Jobo group. I don't know if you've noticed, if you scroll down through the previous posts, um, that's what I've been trying to help you guys with. But let's make it more personal anyway and carry on with these videos. So you've done that, you've got a whole bunch of information, now what do you do? I'm assuming you've got your demos already through Savoa or the likes of, or you've maybe had a little bit of experience voiceovering, or not. Anyway, what you can do next is start signing up to all the platforms. And um, if you scroll through the posts on the group, you'll see that um, there's tons of websites where you can sign up. There's the P2Ps, which is pay to play. So you, you, you pay a membership and you, you put up your profile and say a little bit about yourself and post some demos and stuff and then wait for auditions to pop up that you can audition to. Um, or there's the likes of Upwork where clients will post their projects and then you send a proposal. Lots of different kinds of formats, different ways to, to post yourself and find all the platforms, bookmark them, you don't have to do them all in one day, I mean literally there are thousands, so bookmark everything and then one day at a time, or every single day, let's say you do one at a time and and start with that. Sign up to a whole bunch of stuff online. Now the reason why I'm saying online is because to sign up to physical agencies locally in South Africa, or even if you were abroad in the States or in the UK, they would tell you the same thing. Agencies don't take newbies. Maybe some do. Um, agencies are more likely to take really experienced guys with proper CVs that have done lots of commercials. Some of you guys on here might be those guys. Well, yay. <laughs> Good for you. Skip to the next video. You know, so if you're just starting out, start out from the bottom. You're the bottom feeding fish. We all are. We all have to start somewhere. So troll the internet and get started from the bottom. That's my advice for you for today. Come back tomorrow. I'll give you something else. Bye.